Before we get into this series on how to use Vivo, I want to take a few minutes to talk about what I think Vivo is and a few of the approaches that I take. Now, first off, what is in Vivo? Vivo is just a computerized version to do qualitative analysis. Now, if you've done it by hand before, or you've seen a book, how to do coding by hand or analysis by hand, in Vivo doesn't add that much on top of this. There's nothing that you can do on this which you couldn't do by hand. What it does is it makes it much faster and it gives you a lot more flexibility. Whereas in by hand methods, paper methods, you might have to go back to your source methods and recode and resort and reconsider and count and do various things. On in vivo, you can just do it in a few seconds. The best analogy I can get for this is a word processor versus a typewriter. Now, you can great, create some great things on a typewriter. You can create Einstein level work on a typewriter. But in this day and age, given the choice between a typewriter and a word processor like Microsoft Word, most of us would choose Microsoft Word for things that we are all very clear with. So that's what it is. Secondly, with any software, you need to know what you're doing. Now, there's firstly, there's a learning curve for actually, actually using the software. Hopefully, this playlist of tutorials will help guide you through how to do those basic functions and most common functions which I use in my research. However, you've also got to know about qualitative analysis approaches and methodologies. These are not overly complex, and I'm not going to go into them here, but in other videos I will. But the best thing to do is, before you start using Envivo, Speak to your supervisor, speak to somebody in the department who knows what they're talking about, who's experienced in qualitative research, and then give some guidelines on how to actually go about analysing your data and thinking about pulling out themes and comparing and contrasting it. Because if you don't know what you're doing to start with, then it's very easy to just press a few buttons, get some outputs which look interesting but actually don't tell you very much. So going out there and being methodical, and proper is the best way. I'll cover some of this in these tutorials, but that's the first step. Now, secondly, don't be afraid of Invivo. It can seem a bit daunting at times, like new software we haven't used before, and lots of buttons here and there, a strange interface. But once you get the hang of it, it won't take very long, and it really is fantastic work. I absolutely adore it because you can do things in a few minutes. That could take you weeks or months otherwise. Anyhow, I'm going to get on with creating this playlist, so I hope this is giving you some good insight into what Invivo is, and hopefully you'll be using it like a pro really quickly.